Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's uh, Luna Classic video update. I've actually heard a lot of people saying that, you know, Luna Classic has a very bullish pattern. A lot of analysts are actually talking about the cup and handle and uh, it's time to actually address the cup and handle. It's time to actually bring in the cup and handle and let's talk about the cup and handle. Why not? Let's do this, right? So here we are, that's the chart. And uh, as far as I hear a lot of people saying and commenting uh, as well is that this could be probably like your very big couple, uh, sorry, not couple, <laughs> a cup. And then this could potentially be the handle. Now, the thing is, did you break the cup and handle? You're not breaking the cup and handle. At the same time, you also have, um, all right, I do actually, it's not a very convincing cup and handle though, but it does look like a cup and handle. So let's actually, you know, take this into consideration. What I'm gonna do is actually bring in the curve so where the hell is the curve i think it's here somewhere yeah this one right here so from there to there you're looking for that one right here and i'm going to push this a little bit just down right there boom wiggle that thing um yeah so you can see it's not really a very nice curve it's just a little bit off yeah just a little bit off but anyway it is trying to, it is trying to do something. I'm just looking at it this way. Because for us to make a cup, it should have been like a very proper curve, right? It's not really that proper, but it's just almost a cup. And right now, this is almost a handle, right? So that's how people are making this to be a cup and handle and boom. Okay, so that's still gonna be your handle right here, which you have to break out of. And that's actually a bullish pattern. So what I'm gonna do is what I do always, go to Google and let's bring in the cup and handle to get your concepts once again, refresh the concept. So here we are, cup and handle pattern right over there, All right? So since we have the cup and handle, this is what I wanna show you. That's the image right over there. And this is a bullish pattern. So you see, you have a neckline and a breakout and a potential price target to move higher, right? This is another image that I can show you. And uh, the prices actually go down, up, down, up, down, up. You know, make that big, huge cup and then make a handle. Potentially, this does ring the bell, you know. You did actually do something very similar. So you went down, came up, went down, came up, went down again, still came up like this and closed above there came down, came up, came down. Yeah, so this is actually, yeah, it does really make it a, a cup. There is no doubt about that. It does really make it a cup. Now, the thing is about the handle here, right? There is a certain resistance that you're gonna have to break though. And that's gonna be this one. Something like that one right over there. Boom, right? So that's gonna be the resistance of the cup and handle just as, as I can show you in the image. You're gonna have that resistance line. And you make that nice, beautiful shaped handle, which is actually trying to do right now. So if somehow you do break out of this resistance, right, which I'm expecting it to be a C wave, to be honest, to actually come down, maybe complete the handle here and then start to move higher. It can actually be something like this one. But if you actually break this resistance, by the end of the day, you can break the resistance, right? I'm not trading it. Uh, for a while now because there's a good chance also you break the resistance you try to come up here you break the resistance line then you're looking for a very big huge move to the upside and that's going to be the top of the uh, you know from the top of the cup to the bottom and when you break the resistance you're going to actually go up all the way to 3600 zero, and that's actually going to be what like uh, nearly from there to there um, 150 percent pump if you want to put it that way so it's all about breaking the neckline that's where it boils down to if you're not breaking the neckline um double check again right it is a bullish pattern but there is a uh, there, there is a chance of not of this one not playing out you know you really when you when you talk a pattern you must talk about all the details about the pattern so first half of the thing is done right there's another thing that I want to bring in, and that is going to be um, what are the chances of a cup and handle pattern to fail? Right? To fail just like that. 
So the inverted cup with the handle trade will begin to fail. The market turns bullish. So in a new bull market, the trader can use it. So that's the bearish one. How effective is the cup and handle pattern? Um, here we are. How long does a cup and handle pattern last? So the cup can spread from one to six months. All right. So this is very interesting. All right. Do read this carefully. They can spread out for one to six months. So yeah, from one to six months. This one started back in may 22 and today's july 8 so it's really building that cup and handle if we look at it that way so th this there is a lot of truthful into this one occasionally longer ideally the handle would form and complete over one to four weeks over one to four weeks all right so this is a cheat sheet for you this handle this handle one to four weeks how many days has it been one two three four five right so we still have like like what, uh, 25 more days to actually make that decision of a handle? Yes, 25 days to make the decision of a handle. The cup is pretty much accurate. We need the handle and we need to break out of the cup and handle and then we go up here, right? The next thing is, uh, but, but the one that I'm looking for is not really making it. What is the psychology behind cup and handle pattern? So you, this is a cup and handle, right? Cup, this is how they look like if you wanna look at the image. When a stock has been in an uptrend, it cannot forever move in one direction. There has to be a pullback before the trend continues. The pullback first, consolidation next, and eventually rise. Gives it the necessary strength to continue its journey upwards. Yes, that's actually true. That's the psychology. So when you try to actually you know, move like this, you, ro you rally down to actually build a momentum. You know, some, get some sort of an accumulation here and try to break the cup and handle to move even a little bit higher. But I'm still not getting the answer to what I'm trying to ask Google. What's the failure? Yeah, cup and handle pattern failure is when the price fails to move higher from a cup and shoulders pattern and instead reverses and moves. Damn, that's actually quite amazing. Deconstructing the cup and handle, new buyers enter the pullback at 38.6% or 50% retracement. All right, guys, I'm not getting the answer. I'm really sorry for this. Stupid Google, man, how to trade the cup and handle. Damn, there's a lot of things to do. Maybe I'm actually gonna do the research in the background and come up with a new update, potentially tomorrow as well. Anyways, um, I do have one pattern though, one website by the way, so I don't know, pattern uh, wizard, I guess, is a place that we can get the answer. Pattern wizards, candlestick chart patterns, right? So. In here, they could actually tell us what the hell is gonna happen with uh, cup and handle. So what I wanna do is scroll down a little bit here, start to find cup and handle definition and strategy. Yeah, so this is a good website if you guys wanna learn how to trade a little bit, Patterns Wizard. I do have uh, a detailed course, and you can learn that if you wanna, if you wanna learn that. So on a nutshell, this is how it looks like, okay? So the cup here comes down for the handle, and then moves to the upside, right? So uh, there is a strategy that they said, so if you take the, the, the top here to the bottom right there, just like this one, so the cup can actually come down to the 0 0.5 and this could be your amazing entry point, okay? That could actually be your entry point and this is where the cup can be extended, so the handle can be extended, that could be your entry and this could be a stop loss right here and then you know try to move higher something like that one so that that's just how the image really looks like okay with a stop loss of course but i do want to see uh a detailed because they actually like to tell us the detail how to identify the cup and handle here we are so this is an inverted this is the bearish side of it how to trade the cup and handle right <laughs> nothing here as well that's that's quite really bad that's really bad but anyway sorry for wasting your time with, with, the, with the failed research today i feel so bad and i'm gonna see you the next one i love you